Here's my sorted array. 1, 3, 4, 6, 45. Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are doing good. Today in this video, we will see how we can actually sort an array without using any sorting function. And as we already know that Appian does not support relation coding practices. So here is a general approach to implement selection sort using Appian's capabilities. Okay, so without wasting further more time, let's get right into the video. So let's try to visually understand how this actually works. Okay. So selection sort selects the smallest or largest element from the unsorted portion of the list and then it swaps it with the first element of the unsorted part. If you are selecting the smallest element then you have to swap it with the first element of the unsorted part. But if you are selecting the largest element then you have to swap it with the last element of the unsorted part. Okay, and this process is repeated for the remaining unsorted portion until the entire list is sorted. Cool. So first things first, we have to select the range of the unsorted array. Okay, that would indicate the ending index of the range, which will run backward from 1 to the ending index. So basically the range will be the whole array starting from the first index. Okay, so here is the array or the list of numbers you can say which is completely an unsorted array as of now and out of which we have to find the max element so in the first iteration this is going to be my array and the 45 is something which is the max of all okay so we will be replacing this with the last element which is sitting at last index that is 2 and the value of ending index is 4 which is going to be the count of the whole array okay so now comes the second iteration in which the list is updated and the numbers have been swapped 45 has taken the last position which is in its correct position okay and 2 has taken the position of 45 and the value of ending index has been decremented by 1 which was 4 in the last iteration and has now become 3 okay so this portion is sorted but this portion still remains unsorted okay in the second iteration as i said before we will have to find the max element within the given range the updated range is now one two three right it's running backward from one to the ending index one is nothing but the starting index and three is nothing but the ending index so we have to find the max element within this range which is eight we will be swapping eight with the element which is sitting at the last second index that is three because this is this portion is sorted we are not going to touch it again okay so now in the third iteration here is my updated list where these two numbers have been swapped okay with each other 8 has taken the position of the last second element and 3 has taken the position of the max element okay so this part is now sorted but this still remains unsorted the value of ending index has been updated to now 2 as this is a third iteration we have decremented the value by 1 again and the range has been updated from 1 to 3 to 1 to 2 so now we have to find the max element within this range within this 1 to 2 so within this range the max is 3 3 will be taking the position of the element which is sitting at the ending index the value of ending index is 2 we will be swapping these two numbers right 3 and 2 now moving on to the last iteration the array has been updated and the numbers have been swapped 3 has taken the position of the element which is sitting at the ending index that is 2 and 2 has taken the position of the max element okay now the value of ending index has been updated to 1 as this is the last iteration and we have to decrement it by 1 and when the value of ending index is equal to the start index that means there is nothing more left that needs sorting as the value of ending index has become 1 that means the elements are already in their correct positions now okay this array is sorted and it's time to terminate the call all right now let's dive into the implementation part i have already created an expression rule to find the maximum element in the unsorted portion and swap it with the element at end index okay at last index you can say so for that we need to define some parameters okay like the list to be sorted which has to be number integer that is as it is going to hold a list of numbers and array and the second one for the ending index 
for the current recursion okay which i am going to name it as ending index and after each iteration we will be decreasing it okay number integer next i have to get the element which is sitting at the last index that means ending index so we will be initializing some local variables for that local last element okay ri list and with the help of this ending index i will get the element which is sitting at the last index okay ri ending index now in order to find the max element i will initialize another local variable and here with the help of enumerate function i will get a range in which the max element has to be found so here the range is going to be from the starting index that is 1 to the ending index okay so enumerate of ri ending index so here ri index indicates nothing but the count of the whole array okay let's say if the count of the array is 4 it is going to return me a list starting from 0 to n minus 1 n is 4 4 minus 1 3 0 to 3 but i want 0 to be excluded and the last element to be included so for that i'll just add 1 to this okay so that my list always starts from 1 not from 0 so this is going to return me a list starting from 1 to 4 if the count of array is 4 okay and then i will be finding the max element within this range with the help of now index function i will retrieve all those values from this ri list which are sitting at these positions okay so this is the array from which i need to retrieve those values and these are the positions okay and then comes the default value once the values are retrieved i will be finding the max element out of that okay so i will just wrap this inside max function to get the max element okay now in order to swap the elements i will be making use of update function which takes three parameters data index and value so ri list is going to be my data okay this is a list which needs to be sorted and first of all i will be replacing the element which is sitting at ending index with the max element okay so i need to find the index of the element which is sitting at the last index right which this parameter indicates ending index so here i just have to pass this ri end ending index for the first iteration it is going to be 4 the count of the array okay so the element which is sitting at index 4 just replace that with the max one okay and this is something which is holding the max element local max so i'll just replace it with local max cool now let me just pass some test values 5 3 2 here the max element is 5 right so 5 has been stored in this local max let's say and in local last element i'm just getting the last element which is sitting at the last index let's say ri ending index is 3 okay 2 is sitting at the last index so here i'm just updating my array by replacing the last index with the max element 5 will take the position of the last element but in order to swap them i have to make the last element take the position of the max element right so i will be again updating this array update this time this is going to be my data okay updated one updated list and here the index i have to make this two take the position of the max element so how would i now get the index of the max element i have the max element but i don't have the position of that right to get the position of the max element i will be using where contains function the value which i need to find that is local max i will be finding this value in ri list okay it is going to find the max element in this ri list and get me the position so once i have the position with me i will be just replacing that with the last element right which has already been replaced by the max element and the same is being stored in this local variable right local last element cool 
now if I just try to test this rule out it says can only act on the same type okay I have to wrap this inside to integer to integer test rule if you take a look at this list you can see right 2 and 5 have been swapped as fifth is the max element and we have swapped this with the last one okay so this is working I will quickly save my changes changes have already been saved now I will be creating another expression rule which will iterate over the elements of the list and update the range okay selection sort which is going to act more like an outer loop here we will be defining some parameters like the array to sort which is going to be a list of numbers and array and the second one is gonna be for defining the range okay ending index this is going to be number integer 2 now i need to set the initial value for this ending index right local ending index which is going to be the count of the whole array right so count of ri array to sort i think i have misspelled this e okay and now i have to call this rule inside of itself rule as selection sort i can see no parameters because i haven't saved my changes yet let me just quickly save my changes and we are good to go so here we have two parameters array to sort and the ending index right so i have to map this parameter with this rule which i have created to find the max element and then swap it with the unsorted element right so we'll be just calling that rule over here rule find max element and here i have two parameters again list ending index i have to pass the list which needs to be sorted which is nothing but this ri array to sort and then the ending index which needs to be mapped to this local ending index okay so this part is done then comes the second parameter which is ending index which needs to be decremented after each iteration right local ending index minus one now we also have to define the base condition to terminate this loop if local ending index is equal to the start index that is one right just return me the list which is already sorted now okay array to sort else call this rule until the list is sorted i'll just format the code now and we'll pass some test values over here six three four one okay i'll just test my rule it's editing out because I haven't saved my changes yet. Let me quickly do that and test this rule again. I knew that it would error out because the initial value which we have set for ending index is nothing but the count of array, right? Count of the list, which will always remain unchanged unless we either increase or decrease the size of this array, right? So this remains unchanged because of which it is erroring out. So here the count of array should be the default value for local ending index okay so when ri ending index is null or empty ri ending index is null or empty count of my array should be the default value for this local ending index okay so in the first iteration it's definitely gonna be null or empty so 4 will be the default value for this and then for the rest of the iteration it is gonna be decremented now let me quickly save my changes and try to test this rule out again there you go one three four six it seems to be working 
and if I just add one more element to this list let's say 45 over here as my second element and test this rule out again okay there is an extra comma there you go one three four six forty five here's my sorted array that's how selection sort works in appian that is pretty much for the day if you want more such videos please like my video share it as much as you can and yes don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys in my next video cheers bye bye Thank you.